Okay, welcome to another lesson. Uh, in this lesson, we are going to look at uh, past Casnebe exam, and we are specifically looking at the questions that uh, were tested on calculus, uh, differentiation and integration. Now, uh, our interest will be question number one from May 2019, and the question read like this. The marginal revenue and average cost function of Biashara Limited are given as follows. This is the marginal revenue, this is the average cost. Where MR is the marginal revenue, Q is the quantity, and S is the average cost. You are required to come up with the profit function. Now, profit function, profit, profit is supposed to be total revenue, minus total cost. If you want to find the profit, is total revenue minus total cost. For us to find the total revenue, we need to integrate marginal revenue. So I come here and integrate 40Q minus 3Q squared. Uh, at this point, you know when I'm integrating this one, I add 1 divided by this, it will give me 20Q squared then this will give me q cubed plus c but remember uh, the total revenue will be 20 q squared minus q cubed why do i say so in revenue we don't have a constant eh? when you don't sell any quantity there is no revenue so the c here will be zero now i want to find the total cost so uh, for you to find average cost, it's supposed to be total cost divided by Q. Therefore, total cost will be average cost multiplied by Q. Average cost will be given here as 2Q minus 10 plus 25 over Q. I multiply the whole of this one by Q so that I'm able to find the total cost. Therefore, at this point, I will be able to find that my total cost is, if I multiply this one, is 2Q squared minus 10Q plus 25. So, uh, I have a total cost function and I have my profit function, uh, uh, revenue function, I can be able to find the profit. So, how do we find the profit? Profit will be... Uh, for you to get the profit here, profit will be revenue, which is 20Q squared minus Q cubed, and then I minus, uh, minus the total cost, which is 2Q squared minus 10Q plus 25. If I open the bracket here, this is 20Q squared minus Q cubed minus 2q squared plus 10q minus 25. Add the like terms. Uh, q squared and this one, this will give me 18q squared. Uh, then minus q cubed plus 10q minus 25. This will give me... Uh, This will give me my, my profit function. Yeah? Remember, if you want to find the profit function, it is the total revenue minus the total cost. But the total revenue is obtained by uh, integrating the marginal revenue. The marginal revenue in this case is 40Q minus 3Q squared. You have been given here. 40Q minus 3Q squared. When I integrate 40Q, I add 1 here, it will be 2 divided by 2, give me 20Q squared. Integrate 3Q squared, it will give me Q cubed, then plus C. So here is the total revenue function. So how do we get the total cost function? Total cost function is average cost times Q. Average cost is given here. So this is 2Q times Q, you get 2Q squared. Negative 10 times 2, you get negative 10. 25 over Q times Q, you get 25. Now subtract these two. This means 20Q squared. I subtract 2Q squared. 
it is going to give me this. Huh? Then uh, Q cubed it has no partner. Then this is uh, this is negative and negative give me positive. Negative and positive give me. So this is the profit function. I hope it's clear up that point. Now, the next part you're supposed now to look at maximum profit. At maximum profit, the derivative of profit, d pi dq, should give me zero. So I need to differentiate pi, which is my profit. So differentiate the profit function. Zero is equal to, this is 36q minus 3q squared plus 10. Rearranging this one, 0 is equal to minus 3q squared plus 36q uh, plus 10. Divided by negative, so 0 is equal to 3q squared minus 36q minus 10. I want to find q. I use the quadratic formula. q is equal to minus b. <coughs> In this case, minus b will be minus minus that 6, give me that 6, plus or minus b squared, which is now that 6 squared, minus 4 times 3 times negative 10. Then everything divided by 2 times 3. What do we get here? 36, this is 36, plus or minus, we get that 6 squared. 36 squared, give me 1296. 1296 minus minus will give me plus. This is 4 times 3, 12 times this, you get plus 120 divided by 6. So this one plus 120 is 14. Uh, so here I will have my Q is equal to 36 plus or minus square root of 14. Uh, square root of this one, that 7.6. This is that is 7.6 uh, divided by 6. So, for us to get the maximum profit, we know this negative, we use the sign plus that 6 is 73 divided by 6. This will give me 12.27. This is 12.27 approximately 13 units. So, but the question is asking us to look for maximum profit. Once you get the, once you get the quantity that uh, satisfy or will give you the maximum profit, you come to the profit function. For you to get the profit, the profit is obtained from 18, from the profit function. This is uh, 18 Q squared minus Q cubed plus 10 Q minus 25. I substitute my 12.27 here. So this is 18 into 12.27 squared minus 12.27 cubed plus 10 into 12.27 minus 25. So this is 12.27 squared then times 18. Uh, this is uh, 270, uh, 2709.9522 minus 12.27 cubed. This is uh, 1847.284. Plus this and this will be 122.7 minus 25. What is the find of answer? 270, uh, 2709.9522 minus 1847.284 plus 122.7 uh, minus 25. So the profit will be shillings, 960.3682. So, this is what uh, you are supposed to do on that part. Let's go to part B. I hope that point is understood. Part B, you are told that 
the salesman's earn a fixed basic salary and a commission that is directly proportional to the number of units sold in that month. During the month of February 2019 and March 2019, the salesman's total earnings were 60,000 and 70,000 respectively. The number of units sold by the salesman in the months of February and March are 100 and 250 respectively. During the month of April 2019, the salesman sold 400 units. Required, using matrix algebra, determine the fixed uh, monthly basic salary. So, we come here under, you have been told that the salary is partly constant and partly varies with the, com with the number of units. Huh? So, we can say that the income is in a linear form, A plus BX. Uh, in, in the month of February, he received 26,000 by selling how many units? 100. Eh? You can see from the question A plus 100 B. The selling units were 100. In the month of March, he sold 70,000 uh, by selling how many units? Uh, 250. A plus 250. So we need to come up with the matrix because we are told to use the matrix algebra. So here I will have 1, 100, 1, 250, then uh, AB, this one should give me 60,000 and then 70,000. Here we are told we get the basic salary. So we are looking for A. By Kramer's rule, A should be I replace the first column with the constant 60,000, uh, 70,000, uh, 100, 250. You get the determinant here divided by the determinant of 1, 100, 1, 250. Get the determinant here. What is the determinant of the numerator? 60,000 times 250. Let me uh, complete the work in here. You are saying this is 60,000 times 250 minus 70,000 times 100 divided by what? divided by 250 minus 100 so what is 60,000 times 50? 260,000 times 250 give me 15 million this is 15 million minus that is 7 million uh, if I'm, if you take 70,000 times 100, 70 million, divided by 150. What is 15 million minus 70 million? Minus 7 million, minus 7 million. Uh, of course, that it should be 8 million. Then divide by 150. So, when I divide by 150, my constant here is 53, 3, 3, 3.3. Good. We are supposed to find the basic salary. Of course, now the basic salary is the one that is not varied, which is A. B, the commission earned per unit. In other words, you are asked to look for B. Now, how do you solve for B? You replace the matrix in the what? In the column, in the second column. I am going to use the Kalmas rule. I hope you will still remember this. Uh, B. I want to replace the second uh, column, so I will have 1, uh, 60,000, then uh, 1, 70,000, I divide by the same matrix on the denominator, which is 1, 100, 1, 250. What do I get here? This is 70,000 minus 60,000, divide by 250 minus 100. 10,000 divided by 150. This is 150. So what is B? 10,000 divided by 150. 10,000 divided by 150. It gives me 66. Uh, this gives me 66.667. Uh, that is B. Now, uh, if you come to if you come to the other part C, you are told that you look for uh, you look for 
look for the total sales on the month of April. Our equation uh, for income now becomes income income is supposed to be A plus BX. So A we found from here above A is 53333.3. This is 53333.3 plus b which is 66.667 of x but how much units did he sell in the month of april he sold 400 so i substitute x to 400 here i will have 53333.3 plus 66.667 multiplied by 400 so what do i get here uh, times 400 then plus 53 this one give me uh, 80,000 so here I'm supposed to have 80,000 that will be the income in the month of uh, April so that's how you are supposed to get your 12 marks in this question yeah. Some of them we had done earlier, but uh, all in all, uh, the question was such uh, an easy one if you have read. Uh, it's a goodbye for now. We meet in the next video. Okay, bye.